They've been included in TV forecasts for more than 40 years, and they spark confusion and debate for almost as long. Viewers want them in their forecast, and meteorologists use them to help tell a story of what's going to happen, but most people don't understand what they really mean. In fact, most meteorologists have different opinions of what they actually mean. We're talking about probabilities of precipitation, or POPs. Higher probability we're going to see those showers and storms tomorrow, especially the first half of the day. And then so let's try to clear this up if we can. When the six storm team brings you the forecast and we say there's a 40% chance for rain, we're not saying there's a 60% chance that there won't be rain or even that we're not sure that it will rain. Our definition of pops are based on a portion of the forecasted area seeing at least one one hundredth of an inch of rain or what's defined as measurable rainfall in the forecasted time frame. So if we say there's a 40% chance of rain, we're saying that only four tenths of the viewing area is expected to see some measurable rain. If we said there's a 100% chance of rain, we're expecting everyone in our viewing area to get rain. Now some areas may only see about one one hundredth of an inch, but some could see more than an inch. We're trying to determine coverage rather than amounts. This can cause confusion because the house that saw more than an inch might think that we did a good job with the forecast, but the person who only saw a tenth of an inch might think we blew it. But based on what our interpretation of what pops are, we actually verified our forecast. When you see higher percentage numbers like 80% or even 100%, that doesn't necessarily equate to higher precipitation totals or that it's going to rain harder. It would just mean that more people are expecting to see rain. That's why when we give you the forecast each day, we'll try to add words or phrases that when we're expecting precipitation to kind of help clarify the situation. Like there's a 100% chance of rain for tomorrow, but rain amounts look light and it won't last all day. Maybe in the summertime, we'll say there's a 30% chance of some pop up afternoon thunderstorms in the Smokies. But if you do get stuck under one, know that you could see a quick one to two inches of rain. I hope this helps you to solve the equation of probabilities of precipitation.